Hi guys, it's Max, how are you? Okay, before the Christmas break, I've got a little bit of a treat for you. It's one of my favorite TV series and we have two episodes left. <laughs> I've watched the whole thing. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna do my best. Whew, this is gonna be difficult. Slow Horses is currently streaming over on Apple TV. We have two episodes left and one of the stars who plays Louisa Guy, Rosalind Elazar is back with me. Yes, I have so much to talk to you about. But the first thing I wanna know, Rosalind, is are you getting any better at not sharing spoilers because I'm struggling? <laughs> uh, I've been in trouble before. <laughs> been saying too much. So I should be. I should be. I should be careful. I should be careful. So you get the scripts, Rosalind, and you're reading through it for season three. You're like, wow, wow, wow. Ah! Are you like excited for what your character is going to go on because she is put under some pressure this time round, but she's taking no L's. I mean, I think I've just loved the the development of Louisa and actually all of the slow horses. I think season three delves into their lives a lot more than season one and two. Um, and I've sort of particularly enjoyed, well, I guess it sounds a bit weird to say particularly enjoyed when someone dies. <laughs> when her partner dies. <laughs> In um, season two and how that sort of, manifests and um obviously louise's her, her character is not the sort of person to to deal with her her problems she should probably go to therapy but she's not going to do that anytime soon um so it's just so enjoyable reading season three and will our writer who's just fantastic um where they were going with it and i like you know each season the characters end up partnering with someone different yeah which brings a new fresh mm -hmm. dynamic to the series um you know, Marcus and Shirley are together for the first time um, and Ho and Lamb are together, which is just ridiculous and hilarious. Your character's relationship this time around with River is so fun to watch. It's kind of like a, a sister brother kind of constantly fighting and niggling with each other. But also eventually you can see how much River played by Jack Loudon, is super protective of Louisa. Like, he really cares about your character. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's something that Jack and I really enjoyed playing with. It's it's because each, each duo has a different dynamic. Okay. Um, and we didn't want ours to be the same as Shirley and Marcus's. And so there's something, they, 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 they weirdly get along Hmm. quite well They're, there's something about them that's actually quite similar um but you know there I think she I think she feels in her heart that he cares for her and I think she really cares for him too hmm. but the way that they the way that they navigate that is by punching each other metaphorically yes you know that that's they're not like oh yeah let's have a nice chat about it they go bam 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 yeah. um and they're they're competitive with each other um, and it's just it's, it's just quite a beautiful friendship. This was a show that I discovered during lockdown, Rosalind, and the world embraced it. It's special. It's funny. It's brilliant. It's more than a crime for an MI5 agents going rogue. It's just, oh, it's special for you being a part of this cast and crew and seeing the success and seeing how we've received it. How does that feel? I'm so excited that it's it's gone for this long they keep on recommissioning it and and I and I do think that's down to it it's it's good it's 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 a good it's, it's, got, it's got everything it doesn't pretend to be something that it's not the humor is just hilarious it's it's like it's it's like the the office meets Le Carre <laughs> and it's almost a genre of its own you know which I enjoy it's not it is it's not really a spy thriller it's not really a comedy it's it, it's a it's a mashup of both of them um and that's why I think it's it's pretty unique because I don't I don't know that there's anything quite like it now listen you guys are a stunning talented bunch of actors but if somebody had said this season who's going to take their shirt off I would never ever have thought Gary Oldman yes it's going to be Gary <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean what I've loved also this season with Gary is that they've just lent in a little bit more to 
his problems with addiction yeah. and you know the first yes, opening thanks, Rosalind. I'm there talking about the shirt off and then he's hosting <laughs> oh, I really like that they've lent into his, his addiction <laughs> yeah I'm quite a heavy person um, <laughs> but like yeah in the first episode my heart was just like god yeah he's yeah he's struggling he's really really struggling um and he also, what I love about basically all of the slow horses, they walk out with a mask on and it and it's protecting them from issues that they are unwilling to deal with themselves. And they probably never will deal with because that's the show. <laughs> the comedy aspect aside, I think what's really beautiful about this show is the fact that these characters are all flawed. They're human. They're like the rest of us. They've all gone through so much crap and now they're kind of being shunned from the world. And I feel like a lot of people watching this show kind of relate to that whole kind of vibe of not being accepted and kind of being the underdog slash the outsider looking in. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. They they they're sort of unashamed to be their unlikable selves, which is so enjoyable because actually I find when people um show sort of their their true colors that might be objectionable for a lot of people, you actually sort of love them because they're semi unaware that they're not very good at social interactions. <laughs> like not one of them. There's yeah. not one sort of horse maybe apart from Standish that you think, oh, I think I could stomach a dinner with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah. All, all, the, the rest of them, I, oh God, you know, it would be quite, it'd be quite um, a slog. The action scenes. Oh my flipping God. Intense. Absolutely brilliant. What would they like to shoot for you? I don't, I, I mean, there's, there, there was, we, we had to, we had to do, um, a reshoot for one of the the scenes for various reasons yeah. and there was once when we we're doing this reshoot and the camera's on me and it's quite like a big shootout scene but there's actually none of the actors there with me so I am sort of having to imagine that they're <laughs> there <laughs> so you're like trying to focus on an ex that they put on a camera as if it's River and you're like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> there is this beautiful back and forth this season between Kristen Scott Thomas and Sophie Okonedo's characters and they're both fighting to be the ones in power, MI5. These last two episodes, there is a scene where we see them both going back and forth while we're seeing the scenes play out around them. It is beautiful to watch. And for me as a woman, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Love to see two incredible women so powerful and incredible on screen, just killing it. What was that like for you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's incredible when two very powerful, smart women, yeah, go at it like that. You know, it's 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 a, it's it's a mind game, but there's also vulnerability. There's like so many things at play. I actually have. I I remember reading the scene. I actually haven't seen that scene yet. So I am so excited because they're two just phenomenal actors. Both of them are just incredible i've had the pleasure of chatting to you guys a few of you now and i have to say you all are such a lovely bunch and i love the energy that you've created on this show it started in lockdown and now you're up to you know season four is coming very soon um tell me your friends in real life i wouldn't believe that you guys all just get along because that's the energy that i always seem to feel when i talk to any of you we have as much fun off set as it looks like we do on set. They are, every, every single person on this show is incredible from the cast to the crew. It couldn't be a more joyful job to go to. Um, yeah, we do have WhatsApp groups and we, and, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I feel I feel lucky to be part of this. I love that. That makes me really happy. Rosalind, I have a very important question to ask you. Your mate, you co-star alongside him, Jack Loudon. Um, he's one of the names that's in the frame for the new 007 position. Should Barbara Broccoli make him bond? What kind of bond do you think he would make? I think I think he'll be a, a brilliant bond. Like he's he's so Jack is such a charismatic actor he's funny mm -hmm. he he is everything that I think a bond he, he, and he's also interesting you know he's not plain um and <laughs> he's not plain he's not he's not vanilla you yeah. know he's not he's not a vanilla actor um yeah. 
So I think I I definitely vote Jack for my bond. <laughs> and listen, you are having quite the moment as well. You get to do stage, TV and film. How is that being able to have your little fingers in all these different pies? Yeah, I mean, I think when you do, I think when like I've been, I was doing TV for a while and I really, really crave to do some theatre, you know, where I'm there every single day. And I'm in a show right now at the at the National, the mm-hmm. House of Banana Alba, and it's been... Oh my- Oh, that looks so good. We were talking about that the other yeah. day. How's it going? Yeah. It's going really well. Come and see it. It ends in, on the 6th of January. Um, it's and, and that's been great, like, to do rehearsals. It's, it's such a different thing to TV and film. You know, you're in there every day working on something, and then you do the same show every night. Five, I think this is, I don't know, the fourth week that we're doing it. Um, and then when you do theatre for a while, like, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to, to go back and do you know uh, my screen stuff I love that for you being able to explore between all those three different areas brilliant hey listen season four we know it's been shot you don't have to tell me anything because I don't want to get you into trouble you can tell me afterwards <laughs> but I'm wondering if you could be in the writer's room Rosalind and, and add to the storyline for your character Louisa what would be the one thing you would love to see happen I want her to open up her heart to someone again I don't know who that would be I want to say River, but I just know that's not going to happen because your brother and sister vibes. But yeah. I actually love the idea of those two being together because I feel like um, Louisa would just be like, "Boss, sh- shut up and let's." Yeah. Just- <laughs> Maybe River. I mean, I guess that they they do have a brotherly sister. What I like is that if, if it does, if that sort of thing did happen, it would take a long time for it to happen. Yeah. It would happen like in season four or like season five or six if that went you know I I think it would it would take a long time which actually be quite cute <laughs> lovely and very telling about you as a person is before you say she's going to be in charge of slow horses she's going to go to MI5 you say I'd really like her to find love <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck MI5 I don't want that building <laughs> I can't wait for season four and I'd love for that to actually happen. Hey, listen, thank you so much, Rosalind, for taking time out and talking to me again. I know you're currently um, at the National in London performing theatre every day is exhausting and for you to do this. I love you. Thank you so much. So sweet. No, um, thank you. I can't wait for everyone to watch those final two episodes, the finale. Ooh, they're going to love it. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful I know, moment. I know. I'm excited. It goes into Christmas time. Bye, guys. Don't forget, Slow Horses is streaming right now on Apple TV. Let me know if you're watching it, what you think. Are you a fan as much as me? Do we want more Gary Oldman with no shirt on? Shirt on? Oh, no shirt off, I should have said. Or are you like, no, keep it away, Jackson. We don't need to see it. Guys, leave a comment, like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on. I will be back with more videos. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.